Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism. So last episode we got some science and got some bits and pieces brought in the research centre. We still have Val in orbit going around uh, for our 30 day trial here. Uh, got to wait for that to finish. I'm thinking I'd like to go to the moon. I'd like to land on the moon or must we kind of did that last episode, although the moon one went terribly wrong. But um, yeah, I'd like to land out with a rover, but unfortunately we don't have any decent wheels. Uh, the only wheels we have are here, the uh, landing gear and fixed landing gear. Not really of any use for rovers, because you need powered wheels. They actually don't get unlocked until, well, here. I think that's the earliest wheels, unless there is a wheel before that that I'm missing. I think there is. I think there is another rover wheel that I'm not seeing here. Uh, landing struts, launch escape system. Um, I'm sure there was another landing wheel where... Oh no, I'm thinking of that one. It's afterwards. Okay, so we need to get there. Um, which means we need to upgrade the science center once and then get 300 science. Uh, which is a long way off, but we do have access to planes. And we have got lots of biomes around that we haven't done any research in. So I think I might build a plane and uh, sort of get some research here, go over to, to there, to the um, monolith, fly around to some different places, the, go over to the airfield. Ooh. I'm going to recover those. I don't know. That's, oh, I think that's a, a failed craft we had go up that didn't actually quite make it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to build a plane. I'm going to do a bit of flying around and uh, getting science from some different places. And um, see kind of where that takes us because uh, I feel like if we can boost our science up a little bit and get some more going, we can then do some more researches. Plus, I kind of want to just wait the 30 days for Val to come back and uh, kind of take it from there. Yeah, and see, see sort of where that takes us. And here we are with the science plane one on the runway here. I'm a little concerned about the wheels because they look like they're broken or maybe it's just very heavy. I think it kind of is. We've got a lot of fuel in this and probably don't need as much. So let's try and get it off the ground. I've started all the science I can and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. I think it's too heavy in the rear for those poor little wheels. But that's okay. Uh, and those up in the air. Whoop. And he's very twitchy because the. Uh, should probably turn down those. There, shouldn't I? There we go. That's better. Okay. And there we go. We, we, already, are, we already have science being being done. Um, I'd love to get it so this plane could fly automatically. Um, and by automatically I mean when you turn off SES it doesn't nosedive. Um, 
and the only way I know how to do that is with trim. If you hold down the Alt key and push S, you can actually add trim to the plane. You can't see anything here that represents the trim, but you see there, if I turn off the SES, now we're nosing up. If I hold Alt and just press W a couple of times, it will level out and go down a bit. And you see, even though we don't have any SES on, and I'm not pushing through the keyboard, the pitch is slightly higher than the level, set level there. So that's that's the trim. Holding Alt and using WSD Q or E will add trim onto the plane, and it will just permanently change your flaps. Uh, I don't know if you can see. See just there, that one, which is controlling the pitch, is slightly higher than this one, which is not. So it's automatically just, just pumping up, which is great. Because if you have trim like I have here, where you're just nosing up ever slightly in, in the air, your plane will lean to the left or the right. That's just a B4 Kerbal thing. But if you have it so you're just getting it so your nose is always going up in the air. I didn't put a Kerbal Engineer thing on this, which is bad. But um, yeah, if you have it so that you're always, you're always pitching slightly above, your plane will just circle in areas and you can just basically sit back and watch it and let it fly which is kind of what I'm going to do uh, I've got sciencing to be done and things to go and yeah basically this plane is just going to fly around for a long time and uh, I'm just going to sort of let it go and I will come back well, in about 20 minutes, I suppose, when this is finished doing the material study, and then we'll see if we can do a second material study. I kind of think I should have brought an engineer along, and uh, perhaps an engineer could have stepped out and redone that. We would have landed somewhere else and done that, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to fly around, I'm just going to let it just pitch, do its thing there, do what it's doing. Keep an eye on it to make sure the nose stays up in the air, which it's not doing right now, so we'll add a bit more trim. And there we go, the nose pitches up. The great thing about trim as well is that because you're always pitching up, you will eventually slow down so you'll get an equilibrium between the thrust and the pitch of the craft. And uh, and yeah, I let it go, so I'll be back in 17 minutes and uh, we'll see what's what. Okay, so I've been flying around for eh, 45 minutes, I've been using time warp a bit, so yeah. Uh, what I did as well was I uh, uh, was transmitting back. I offset the uh, fuel in here. You can change the fuel feed. Just turn it back on because I pushed the wrong button there. Can I turn my pitch back on so I'm not nose diving into the? You kind of want to nose dive into the ground, but yeah, um, yeah. You can change the the flow priority so you empty one tank faster than the other one and I emptied this tank a bit quicker than this one to stop the plane leaning over so much so, uh, yeah, it just prevents it from circling so hard than it was but um, I, I was trying to trying to make it back to there um, I hadn't really noticed how far I'd gone and then I realised I don't have the uh, Delta V left to get back to the Space Centre so I need to land it around here somewhere safely before Jeb uh, crashes to his doom. I'd like to do it with a little bit of fuel left just in case something goes wrong. So uh, I kind of also thought that maybe I could land on these rocky parts here and get a different, uh, different reading. I'd like to land in the mountains, didn't quite get there, so nah. But I'm just going to bring it around and we're going to land there somewhere. I think let me turn the lights on because well, why not? Take off that trim a little bit there and try and get our nose down, shall we? Go down. Now normally I wouldn't not dive bomb like this to land at all, but I kind of want to lose some attitude. Um, quickly and this plane's got really really strong authority thanks to them great big wheels uh, wings at the front we've got a lot of authority so we don't have to worry too much about pitch I have changed our level indicator to be ground because 
well, flying over the mountains there, we got pretty close to it. I was like, oh, I've still got a couple of, like, a thousand meters or so, that's fine. Click the button, and no, it was under a hundred. So, uh, that had some very rapid, uh, pick me up, did it? And, uh, you can sort of land the plane using trim as well, if you want to. You can just keep bringing the trim up so the nose brings up slightly. Uh, you see? And then as it loses speed, it will go down and be good. And there is a big mountain there. Kind of think we're going to land on that. Which is going to involve pitching up. Ooh. Oh, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, up, get the nose up, get the nose up, oh, that's hard, oh, that's hard, don't, don't die, don't die. Okay. So, the wheels are being Kerbal wheels, which seems about right for things. Uh, yeah. The, the other drawback that I had was that running all of these here, um, actually I didn't have enough power for it. The, uh, the you see there, we, we've got 90 minutes worth of power here. When the material study was running, that uses a lot of power. So I couldn't actually get all the experiments done, which was a little annoying, but hey ho. So I'm going to wait another 14 minutes for the atmospheric pressure one to be done. And uh, then we will go back to the Space Center and uh, see what wonderful science we have. And for that little joint, uh, jaunt, sorry, we've gathered 46 science, which may not seem like a lot, but when you consider all I've done is fly from here and around in a circle along there, behind those mountains, and back again. That's not bad. Not bad. Uh, I can go over to the island runway. I can go down south to the poles, north. Uh, we've got the deserts over there. There, there's so many things. I didn't go over to the monolith. Kind of want to do that. I think. Let's do that. Let's just very quickly uh, take exactly the same plane. And uh, do you know what? I'm going to take uh, Bob with me this time. I'm taking Bob because I want to test whether you can reset this. Don't know if that's possible. Okay, so. Bob. Where is the monolith? It is there. And now, yeah, I think. Um, I need to turn up suspension on these. Oh dear. Can I do that? Yeah, I can't remember. There we go. Spring strength. Turn the spring strength up. Because uh, they're just not strong enough to hold the vehicle. There we go. That might be better. I have also noticed that those aren't exactly straight. They should be one further up as we're nose diving down which um, isn't terrible having the nose facing downwards uh, I have noticed that if you have the nose facing up and you try to go along the wrong way the craft bounces left and right um, if you have the nose facing down it just sort of pulls to one way or the other so you can counter it but if you have it uh, with the nose up it tends to do a wibbly wobbly bounce 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 and uh, you don't want that you don't want that that's bad Bad for the pilot's life, generally. Let's get over here. I can't remember how fast you can travel before the wheels go boom. It's way higher than what I'm doing here, I know that. But I kind of want to stop as well. Without uh, causing myself to have any major problems. Uh, this does have like 20,000 meters a second of delta V, but in an atmosphere that's not actually that much. Um, as I said, I don't know if I could get to the poles or anything. I could probably get to the desert. Probably a thing that's doable. Uh, 
speed up time. I'm not going to go any faster time warp or something on the ground. That's a lesson I learned a very long time ago. Four times time warp while on the ground, really generally bad for everything. Definite crack and food. Right. So this way, I need to edit my controls as well. Um, I have updated to 1.8.1, uh, uh, which involved me. Same thing. Something I didn't do actually is a. Uh, no, crew report is on. Okay, so now I don't know whether he's going to be able to actually get back up on the craft here, but we're going to give it a try. Do, do, do. Boom. Hmm. Okay, so the monolith here doesn't do anything. I guess we've got to get the monolith somewhere else, but um. Yeah, I think we could get over to the desert and give that a go. Can you actually grab back onto the plane here? Ooh, I think I saw it. Yes, there we go. Grab board. Yeah. Um, yeah, I so said I've updated to uh, 1.8.1. Didn't really want to do that, did we now? No, we did not. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. I need to push myself away from that, which I can't do. So let's try and go over to the turn my pitch control up and I want to increase this engine here and lift. There we go. Oh up. Ooh. Way too steep on the pitch there. There we go. Right. Uh, and I also want to do that. Uh, I want the center in center. Wow. We are way too high on the pitch. There we go. So I've taken a little bit of fuel out of that one. And oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Both of these are in symmetry mode. So what I just did didn't actually matter. I'm really confused as to why oh Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Turn them down. That's why. I don't want them to be as powerful. That'd be why. Okay. So, now, let me see. Let's try and get ourselves into flat level flight. Remove symmetry from those. And if we accelerate time, you see, it leans over to the right. To the left, even. Sorry. But if I decrease that fuel tank... Whoa. 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 Yeah, don't move whilst the time warp. Right, remove that fuel tank there. Then eventually this side becomes lighter than that side and the craft sort of levels itself out. I'm trying to get those tweaks in. Every time I do it, it's always maneuvering the plane back left, back rolling left, but it's slower and slower now. And eventually you get to the point where this fuel tank is just so much lighter than this side that it doesn't doesn't do that. It doesn't together, level ourselves out again. And we're in a little bit to the left, but yeah, but that's that's so much better. So much better than the way it was doing it before. It can of course just tweak it a bit more, turn it down. I don't know the exact ratios and I don't know why a completely symmetrical plane leans to one side, but every single plane I have ever built in Kerbal Space Program 
since I started playing the game has always done this it's always had exactly the same it will lean one way or the other and it's really difficult to do it and because the lean is so soft you can't use trim to fix it if I trim off to the right by even one notch the plane just turns right so yeah but in, I just accepted that's part of Kerbal Space Program and uh, yeah that'll do see now I think we're pretty much level uh, if I slow down time again so I can actually get us level that's level and our nose up a little tiny bit and actually we're leaning to the right now slightly by looks of it yep okay so if I accelerate time yeah we're leaning to the right but, but yeah so that's how I would balance it I will change these things here popping them if I, I can just you know, do that and take a bit of fuel out of this side and uh, see if I can get it level flight so I'm going to fly over to the desert and uh, I'll see you when we get there okay so I flew to the desert and I flew around uh, getting the pressure scan and then I've come to the mountains and noticed once again I don't have the fuel to do anything I was going to kind of fly over to the desert, desert airfield uh, but um yeah 20,000 meters a second is not anywhere near the amount of fuel I kind of expected now I don't have SES um, which I just tried to turn on there because Bob obviously is a scientist that's no good and I'm not going to get atmosphere one because I can't really fly around here for another eight minutes to do this. So I'm going to try and land here somewhere. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh, what is that? That is something that's worth trying to do a loop around and land near. I think. Do, do, do. Lots of airspeed being lost. It should be fine. You've got plenty of control in this plane. Plenty of control. Turn the brakes on. And oh, it's hard. That's hard. Oh, we lost the wheel. We lost everything. Oh, we're up on the nose. Oh. Oh. Well, it was rough. But if I can get it. Come on. Come on. Oh no! Oh, it just won't quite get back on its wheels. Oh, that's disappointing. Come on, come on, let's smack it around a bit and hope. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, I believe in you. Come on. Come on. No, 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 we're not going to get it over. No, if that wing had gone, then we might be able to. Okay, so, ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, if we'd have lost that wing, then perhaps we could have uh, actually uh, done it. But, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Bob can still EVA, not on his head, that's fine. He can pick up a surface sample. Mm, I guess we're in the mountains, technically. Okay, there yeah, we're out of battery juice, that's not really surprising. But yeah, so this is one of those new surface features like we saw on the moon but then I crashed the thing so we never got there um, if we had some deployable science we could come out and do this but Bob is a scientist can he just do something with his hands can he just you know tap on it and 
and C. Bimp. Says he can climb. Ooh, really don't want to get him stuck in there though. That's the thing. Okay, so no, we can't do anything whilst we're here, but we can plant a flag. Let's do that. Let's plant a flag. And we'll just say crystal formation here. Crystal formation. Crystals in the desert. There we go. Okie dokie. Right. So let's go back to the craft. It's going to run out of fuel. I wonder if I can run the engines and try and get the. Uh, um, the power going. I don't have any way to remove that wing because I haven't unlocked any of the Kerbal stuff. Uh, the Kerbal inventory system. I haven't unlocked any of the. Well, I might have unlocked something and just haven't noticed, but I can't take off that piece. What I mean here. I can't. Just get Bob to detach it. Yeah, needs a tool. Detach? Oh no! You don't need a tool to detach things. Ooh. That's good. But unfortunately, we're out of power now, so I don't know. Board. Batteries recharged. Have they? How was that? Oh, I think, yeah, Bob's. Uh suit might have had some power to it. Nope, still not enough. Even with the engines going, it's just not enough to... That is a shame. That is a shame. If we could have got back on the wheels, we could have driven around a little bit and had a look see, but we just can't I just can't get it over enough to do it. Oh, oh, so close. Maybe with a bit of thrust as well, we'll be able to commit it just to get that little tiny bit over. Plus, I kind of need the battery power. Ironically, if we'd have landed on a less smooth place, we could have probably done it. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. No. No, don't do that. Oh. Because <laughs> I had the brakes on. Let's turn the brakes off. There we go. Awesome. Right. We've got very little fuel left. Very little uh, to be left and we need nine minutes worth of stuff to do this here so I think I'm just gonna turn up the engines a little bit that'll give us electric charge with the brakes on we can not worry about it um yeah so yeah I don't think this is really going to get us anywhere do we think we can't really go anywhere we haven't got a delta v for it but yeah okay so i'm just gonna basically try and sit around here for a bit and uh wait for this to finish here in fact i could probably accelerate the time how long have we got on the batteries four minutes it's the right time till it tells us the batteries are running out. There we go. And then fire up the engines once again. 
if I could just get a nice balance going on here where the batteries are still charging yeah there you go it looks like battery is still charging but we're not moving which is what we want and then I'll wait six minutes for that to go and then we should go back to the space center and uh, see what science we've got this time right so we ended up getting none of the right science as I was like uh, we also didn't get the completed flying low over the mountains because we need more fuel for that didn't get the actual surface one done because whilst I kept turning the engine on and off uh, to charge the battery I got a bit overzealous ended up flipping the craft again and breaking the uh, atmosphere so oops anyway what can we unlock what can we unlock I mean we could I suppose general construction would be a kind of a good idea wouldn't it inline containers more decouplers crew cabin and the launch stabilizer which would be useful I suppose that would would make sense going on there uh, we don't have 90 to do anything of these here so let's unlock that we'll leave that and I think between episodes I may take that plane out I might modify it slightly and then take the plane out and go uh, some other places and try and get some more science of its pieces because it's generally going to be the same thing that I'm doing over and over in different places and, uh, and yeah and then we'll see what comes with it from there so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this one I hope to see you again next time and until then as always have fun